and welcome to my channel. She with me on so far. Who gets bitch with me? Now she high. Hit a bitch up from the side. Um, I know I'm sitting here looking really happy, really excited, or whatever. I mean, I'm happy to be talking to you guys, but I have not been in the best of spirits. <laughs> at all um i have really been in a bit of, of de a depression yeah it's been really bad the past like month or so and i couldn't figure out why and i have some inklings as to what's going on that i'm gonna share but i'm also gonna talk about what i've been trying to do to get out of it and it's just been really difficult and i figured out a part of why like this past month alone has been really hard for me and this is for my girlies out there i mean this is stuff that some of us already know some of us don't and it affects people differently but i realized that my birth control was making me miserable it is making me miserable i cannot figure out for the life of me why last month i was having the year of my life everything was amazing like, I did not realize that it was going to make me feel so bad. And the birth control I'm on, I'm going to be very open and very honest about what's really going on. The birth control I'm on is the, the depo shot. I've taken it before. And I mean, it was honestly, I think it put me in a depression then too, because I was failing school. I was, <laughs> I was failing school. I was losing friends. I was going through some issues. Like I was in a very bad place, but I didn't correlate it to my birth control because I was also just going through a lot of things at that time in my life. But now, like 2020 was a shitty year altogether. Like a lot of bad stuff happened. But for me and my personal growth, I was amazing. Like I felt so great about 2020. I was amazing. I had the best year. I got a house. I got a car. I had friends. I was meeting people. I was putting myself out there. I was having a ball. Now, like a month and a half into me being on this shot, like two months into being on this shot, because next month I'm supposed to be getting another one, which I'm not. I'm two months in to being back on this birth control, and I feel miserable. I feel horrible about myself. I don't want to get up and do anything. I don't really want to talk to anybody. I can't talk to anybody. And then when I do talk to people, because I'm on such a, a high and a low and my moods are all over the place because of birth control, it's just, I just, I just, I've been, I've been on a whirlwind of emotions and feelings and it has been very, very tiring. And I've just been very, very sad and depressed. And I feel like my only outlet has been YouTube. Even if I haven't uploaded any of the videos I've been filming, I have been filming them and talking to you guys just like this has really been helpful to me throughout this because I just, I've been going through it and I feel like there's no one I can talk to about it that's gonna understand any part of where I'm coming from. I have been fucking up so much stuff because I cannot get it, I couldn't get it together. I couldn't understand what was going on. I didn't know why everything was going on. So I just, I regret wholeheartedly getting on that birth control. I regret it so much because granted my periods are terrible or terrible. My periods are horrible. For the first two days, all I do is throw up. My cramps are so bad that I cannot get out of bed. I can't go to school. I can't go to work. I don't want to do anything because my cramps are so bad. I'm throwing up. I'm feeling sick. I can't keep food down. I can't eat. I can't stay awake because if I'm if I'm up, I'm throwing up, and if I'm not, I'm sleeping, I'm crying because it's so bad. So I was like, it's better to just not have a period than to just go through this. But I'd rather go through pain for the first two days and bleed for two weeks than go through what I'm going through right now. And I hate that I didn't put two and two two and two together the first go round like I have now. But at least I'm in a place where I see what's affected me so much and the things that I already go through and I'm just happy that now since I know what it is and why I'm feeling this way and how fucked up it has me right now that I know that next month I'm not getting my shot I'm talking to my doctors about different alternatives for me specifically that would help with the things that I have going on 
but Defo is not one of them. I do not recommend that at all to anyone ever again. Like that was really my raw dog, my go-to. I was like, I can just get this shot every three months and I ain't gotta bleed ever again. Sign me up, but no, don't sign me up. <laughs> Y'all is bad. And I just want to come on here to vent a little bit and to talk about how messed up it has had me because I've been, I've been going through it. I've been sad. My house looks a mess. It looks terrible. I have a depression house, like not a depression room where my room is just a mess. My entire space is a mess. My bathroom looks a mess. My room looks a mess. My living room is a mess. My kitchen is a mess. And it's not like filthy. But it's a mess. That's not how I normally live. That's not how I want to live. So part of this video is me cleaning my depression house with you guys and just trying to get back to being me. There's a lot of things going on. I just want to be happy. I just want to be me. So that was my little tidbit on just where I am in my like little depression phase, depression stage. It happens to the best of us. Like We can't help it. We really can't, it just happens, but we got to go from there to what we're gonna deal with and how we're gonna cope with it, what we're gonna do. Sorry guys, my camera died yesterday and I spent the rest of the, rest of the day charging it and I didn't clean up anything specifically for this video. So I'm about to get my phone to see what time it is. It is 9.56 in the morning. Um, I'm up, I'm in good spirits, and I'm about to clean up my house so I can be in a better space. I'm going to show you some of what's going on. It's not terrible, but this is not how I normally live. So, I'm a little embarrassed, but don't judge me because that's not nice. Um, it's not horrible, but this is like my little cozy corner that looks a mess. Um... That looks a mess. Um, that's a mess. Um, this is a mess. <laughs> um, the closet is a mess. That bathroom's fine. So, with that being said, we're gonna start cleaning up. Damn, Zeus, you too cold, bro. What you doing? Let's 
clean and talk. So, like I've been saying, well, like I was saying, I honestly don't remember what I last left off on, if we're being honest. I just know I told y'all I was cleaning up with you guys. But, I'm cleaning them up too. I just throw them in that room so that's where they belong. And it'll just be easier to throw them in there and then go pick them up when it's time to clean up in there. Yeah, I just been in a bit of a funk and I am unsure of how long I'm gonna have to be in it. Because y'all know, even when you get off the birth control, especially like the the depo shot or the, the next one on stuff, it'll like remain a tidbit in your system for like a little bit after you stop taking the medicine. So I'm a little nervous because I don't know how long I'm gonna like be feeling a little shitty and I don't wanna feel the shitty forever, you know? I want to, I want to be that happy me again that was just like having the best year of her life who could do whatever. Like, I was so at peace and just happy and in love with my life and where things were going and what I had going on and the people that were in it. And then all of a sudden, like, that just got turned upside down. I feel like I don't have anyone. No one is really in my corner. And it all sounds like like I'm being funny and like stuff like that. But really, that's really how I feel. Like I feel like I don't really have anyone because I feel like nobody really is gonna understand. I'm just gonna be talking to like a brick wall. Like I don't have anybody to talk to other than you guys. And just to vent a little bit, but there really hasn't been anybody supportive like that in my life. I mean, my mom has been here, but she doesn't really know what's going on. And, like, it's been cool just talking to her. And, like, just, just talking to her more has been helping. But, like, somebody that I can just sit and pour out, like, a, some of my feelings to and just be able to talk to that actually knows what's going on, I have no one like that to talk to. So, because I made the mistake of, like, choosing the wrong people to talk to with my feelings. And then it just backfired and I felt worse than I already did before. So, I just I'm never going to do it again. So, I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> did not clean up my room yesterday because I got tired. Like Rome was Rome wasn't built in the day. Like, you know, we can't get everything done in one day like we want to. So here I am today, fully dressed in a different outfit, ready to clean up my room. It's a perfect thumbnail.
Okay, let's get into it. I dyed my eyebrows yesterday and they, it didn't make a difference. <laughs> um, like I might do them again today, but it they I look still like mostly ghosty. But um, in the process of me cleaning up my house, right, it's taking me three days I think, and my room is clean, but like my bed isn't made and there are clothes still in my closet. But I realized that if I'm I'm, I'm moving in the, I'm moving next week literally so there was no point in me going in my room and putting everything back and setting it up making it look nice when i'm about to skedaddle because i'm about to be in the process of packing now so there was no point of putting everything back so i just came here to say that and that this is the end of the video because it made no sense for me to put everything back in there like cleaning up was great because it needed to be cleaned up in here like it needed to be cleaned up it helped me get a better peace of mind and be more okay with things that are going on, but um, there's no point in me going in there and putting all that stuff back and doing everything in there when I'm about to be taking it literally out and packing it up. One of the next two videos y'all will see on my channel is actually going to be me packing and moving my house. So I just want to see it on here and say that, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that. <laughs> My hands look fucking crazy. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff if you want to. If you don't, that's cool too. But I hope you have a great evening, afternoon, night, whatever you're watching this. But like, be, peace be with you. Be well. And bye, guys. Bye.